Okay, this problem wants us to add and subtract polynomials. So you see that I have a trinomial here, 1, 2, 3, and I'm adding a trinomial here, 1, 2, 3, and then I'm subtracting a binomial. And the important part of this problem is that I need to subtract both of these terms. Okay, so I would like you to get your notebook and I would like you to write this down and work it out with me. So go ahead and pause the video, grab your notebook, and grab a few different colors to write with. Okay, now let's go ahead and put these together. I have my first trinomial here, and I want to get each of these terms out of the parentheses. So for the first one, I can just take them straight out. 4x squared plus 5x minus 2. I don't need to change them because they're not being multiplied by anything out in the front. There's no minus out here. So they just come right out of the parentheses. And then I'm adding, which means I'm not going to have to change any of these terms either. But we're going to think of this as adding 5x squared plus 5x squared, and then adding 6x, adding a positive 6x, so plus 6x and then adding a positive 16, so plus 16. And now this last polynomial, we're subtracting. So a lot of students like to think of this as being like a negative one that you're distributing. You're subtracting the 9x squared, and that is gonna give you a minus 9x squared. And then here's the important one. I am subtracting a negative 14 subtracting a negative, subtracting a negative minus a negative is a positive 14. Okay, and this is the most common mistake right here. So I'm gonna put this plus really big and really bold plus, okay? I wanna make it known that this is the thing I need to remember for this problem. Okay, now, all we have to do is put together our like terms. And if you want to, you can rearrange them. You can put all your x squared, all your x squareds first, and then all your x's, and then all your constants. I'm gonna underline them and use a color. Okay, so here's 4x squared, and I'll do a double underline for that. And then I'm gonna add 5x squared, and then I'm gonna subtract 9x squared. So these are all my like terms. They're going to go together. They have a double underline, and I'm making it blue. Then my x's, I have plus 5x. So I'll do a single underline for that. Plus 6x. And is that all the x terms? Yes, it is. And then the constants, uh, maybe I'll do like a squiggly line. Okay, minus 2. Plus 16 plus 14. Okay, and now it's just time to put those together. So let's do the x squareds first. I have, I'll go ahead and rearrange them. I have 4x squared plus 5x squared minus 9x squared. Okay, then I have plus 5x plus 6x. And then I have minus 2 plus 16 plus 14. Okay, so I just changed the order. That's the commutative property. And that's going to help make sure that I keep things straight. Okay. You don't need this step. If you don't want to do this step, that's fine. So let's look at our x squareds. 4x squareds plus 5x squareds. That's 9x squareds. Minus 9x squareds is gonna be zero x squared. So these three really cancel out. Then I have my x's, I have five x plus six x, that's 11 x. And then I have my constants, minus two plus 16 plus 14. So you might need to get your calculator for this if you want. That's gonna give you plus 28. These are not like terms, I can't put them together, and that's it, I'm done.